Sculpting Techniques with ZBrush 3 training presented by Digital Tutors. My name is Justin and I'll be your instructor for the next several hours as we go through the process of sculpting a high resolution creature in ZBrush 3. Now until recently, high resolution 3D modeling has been largely constrained by technical considerations like polygon count, topology, and resolution limitations. Now building high res characters, for instance, often involve pushing and pulling a large number of vertices or trying to sew a patchwork of NURBS geometry together. Now these technical aspects have in some ways served to separate the artist from the clay, as it were. And with ZBrush 3, many of those barriers have been lowered, if not knocked down altogether. We can now sculpt millions of polygons interactively, giving the artist a lot of freedom to create fantastic models. Now learning these techniques and how to use the software has often been seen as difficult or daunting. So with these things in mind, we're going to learn to sculpt this high resolution creature using many different tools and techniques while making the learning process easy and hopefully a lot less intimidating. We'll start by looking at the different ways we can create low res based geometry. We'll look at how we can subdivide those meshes to get the kind of resolution we'll need to sculpt. We're going to cover the different aspects of sculpting in ZBrush, including the available brushes, alphas, and strokes, and how they all work together. We'll follow a workflow that gradually builds up detail over multiple subdivision levels. The new transpose tool is a powerful way to quickly pose your characters, and we'll take a look at the, how that works. We'll also look at the new subtools functionality and how it can be used to combine multiple meshes into one tool. We'll cover the projection master, stencils, 3D layers, and much more as we work through the completion of this creature. With that, let's begin by taking a look at a completed creature and discuss some of the sculpting techniques you're going to learn. 